Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to the original Sims, or as you can see, it's the Sims The Complete Collection, which is the original Sims with all the expansion packs on it. Um, it's kind of, I was going to do the original Sims, just vanilla, but I couldn't find my copy of it, which is a shame, because it was probably from, like, the original runs of the game, because I got the original game many years ago, um, like, within the first week or second week maybe tops of when it came out because I'd read about it and I thought it was sounded cool and I got it and played it. Well, it's cool, but whatever. Um, this first video here is going to be setting up our characters and getting, ready, getting them ready to move in. The second video, the video that comes after this, that makes sense, uh, will be actually moving them in. Um, my friend Ghost Skittles has for a long time been encouraging me to do a Sims game and I was like, oh, I really don't know if I can do one. I don't know how to do one that would be interesting, so this is an experiment to see if we can. What I'm basically going to do with the characters is, um, the characters in the main house, I'm going to control one of them. One will be Super Paul Games. The rest, I'm going to, at least for the first few episodes, let them do basically what they want, with the one rule being every adult has to have a job. I'll make sure they have a job. I'm not worried about leveling them up right now, but just kind of see how they interact with the personalities that are made, whether they like each other, whether they hate each other, all that stuff. Um, as many of you know, uh, just a few weeks ago, actually I think it was last week, um, because I wasn't sure how I was going to approach this, so I decided what I wanted to do, the only way that I could think of to make it fun was to have you all decide what the characters were going to be. So I asked who wanted a character made in the game, and I was amazed, uh, I got a bigger response than I get expected. About 22 of you said you wanted a character in the game. Unfortunately, I can't fit all of you in the main house. You can have eight people in the house tops. We're going to have six in ours, so we can have room for two more um, people, whether we pick up an animal. I haven't played some of these expansions, so some of this I won't know. I've only played about half the expansions on here. Or if somebody wants to get married from someone outside the house, or if somebody wants to have a baby. And then the other 16 people, because I'm going to, everybody that left a suggestion of a character they wanted made, I'm going to try and make them all. The rest of them, are going to fall into the category of the neighbors. And the neighbors are the people that you love to meet, hopefully, in your neighborhood. And they might come by from episode to episode. You know, they might call, they might come and make friends with people in the main house. Maybe they'll come in and be an asshole. I don't know. But without further ado, let's get to the neighbors. So we're going to make our two families. The first family is going to be the Marston family. The Marstons. And thank you, RL, for the suggestion for that name. And let's add, let's say I spell it right. Yes, let's add our first sim to it. Our first uh, person in this family is Aak1501. Um, I don't know if that's really black enough hair. It's kind of hard to get them all the way you want. He's outgoing and playful. Uh, Hacker5000, Aak in effect. Some say he's part of, a, of Sim Anonymous. I wrote these. You think I could read these damn things? And it, I'm actually illiterate. I just write letters. And is devoted to bringing cyber justice to the crooked Sim corporations and Sim governments that threaten us all with tyranny. He says, I do it for the lulls. <laughs> nice sandals, man. They call me the Sandal Man. Aak Sandalman 1501. Uh, next up's Eddie E.R. He's very outgoing and playful. Um, when he left a note, he, he was very kind because uh, I did say I might need more. I would have a harder time getting women. That sounds wrong. I can't get a woman. It's true, but uh, he wrote, If you need a woman, you can make my character woman, which is fine. Or a she-male, um, just because that'll be funny. Feel free, which was really cool of him. So I... Um, I gave him kind of a... It's not really... It's kind of like a dress. It's a kimono. It's the best of both worlds. Why not? Um, and his description, Eddie is a def is the definition of laid back. Want him to be a man or a woman? Eddie don't mind. His quote, he male, she male, baby. Just send me an email. Mm, Eddie don't mind. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, next up, we got TNT54 is cool. He's outgoing and playful. Nice. He's not good at being active. A lot of us are not being good at active, apparently. <laughs> We're all kind of lazy. Um... His definition or his description: Nothing's more explosive than TNT. I assume that's what happened to his shirt; it blew off. He's like, "Ladies, look at this! Boom!" And then his shirt shot off. Baby, I'm gonna blow you up. Maybe I should have done that different. Baby, I'm gonna blow you up. Pop. He's got boxing. Apparently, he's a boxer too. He's like, "I'm just gonna beat you." That's inappropriate. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing he's a neighbor, not in the house, so he doesn't beat us up. And here is J77Mez, J Mez, I'll call him. He's very active, not so neat. 
Um, I couldn't find a football uniform. I mean, I guess if you're in Europe, this is a football uniform, but I mean... I, I couldn't find, like, American football. J77 Mez is all about sports. Football junkie USA. I hope you're American. <laughs> uh, quote, he could go all the way. I say that on the football field and in the bedroom. That's what he tells the ladies. Then he spikes them after he scored. <laughs> They're like, oh, my face. Why'd you throw me into the ground? <laughs> uh, and he does a little touchdown celebration dance. Dark Pumpkin 21. He's not very neat. He's not the least bit outgoing, but he's active, playful, and nice. Kind of cool outfit there. Try to find something dark for Dark Pumpkin. With a soul as dark as a pumpkin, Dark Pu Pumpkin 21 plays all the tunes that make the ladies come in the yard. Um, that's kind of messy. Come on, ladies, keep it clean. Quote, baby, I'm going to play you like I play my guitar. I'm going to put a cape on you and then strum you with my guitar pick. I think ladies like that. I'm sure it feels great. You're like, ow, 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 ow. You're welcome. Alright, next up is Soren. You know who you are. Motivated. What is Motivated 420? I figured this is very realistic. This is how everyone dresses in his part of Vancouver. That's very much a. It's a Vancouver outfit. It's okay. His description is weed. His quote is 420. I hope he watches this. Uh, yep, yeah, that's good. Oh, and he's playful and he's relatively nice. That's a creepy face. And finally, we got a woman. Um, you're going to notice, if you haven't already, that the women are going to be greatly outnumbered. If you live in SimCity, it's good to be a woman, because you have a lot of choices. There are a lot of guys to choose from. If you're a guy, there's a lot of pretty ladies, but you guys way outnumber the chicks, so... Alright, this is Stacy Fenster. I gave you pirate earrings, Stacy. Arr! She's not very neat, she's very outgoing and playful. Stacy is a lovely lady with a lovely voice who dreams of becoming a rock star. Not to be confused with a cock star. That's totally different. Uh, her quote: "It'd be sublime to listen to sub sublime. Uh, it'd be sublime to listen to sub some sublime while sucking on a lime. I'm illiterate. The right time is Stacy time. She's like, son, go learn how to read. I'm gonna go right now. I'm going to school. I'm gonna break in. It's the middle of the night. I'll just break in and learn. Teach me how to read. And the child of the house is LJ369. She's very nice and playful. In fact, she's so nice." Um, when she asked to be in it, she said, I would like to be in it, please, which uh, really touched me. It's not very many people that are polite like that. Uh, Oral would say the same thing later on and say, please, but it really I was like, oh, that was nice of her to say, please. Um, I was going to be like, ooh, 69, but since she's a little kid in, in the in the video, um, that's probably not appropriate. LJ369 likes Legos, programming robots, and when people are nice, quote, be nice, please, or my giant Lego robots will shoot your face off. <laughs> she sounds more girly, I assure you, though. Thank you, LJ369. Uh, and that's the Marston family. Ayak, Eddie, TNT is cool, J Mez, Dark Pumpkin, Soren, Stacy the Pirate, R, and LJ369. So that was the first family. Next, the second family. Um... Captain Pete wanted me to call him the Cunt Burgers. He was like, the family name should be Cunt Burger. Honey, the neighbors are arguing with each other. That's okay. I like the Cunt Burgers. Good people. It's a good suggestion. It made me laugh. But uh, I'm going to take a suggestion from my friend Foxy instead because I wanted to have it be a little classier than Cunt Burger. So they're going to be the Fuck Nuggets. Welcome to the family Fuck Nuggets. <laughs> Here's Captain Pete. Captain Pete wrote on the thing. Um, where did he write it? Uh... Make me, you fantastical slut. <laughs> um, unfortunately, this was the only model head I could find with like a brown beard and brown hair. And unfortunately, there's not glasses. You, I guess we have to draw them on your screen. Captain Pete is a very evil man. He does evil things like root for the Green Bay Packers when he should really be rooting for the Detroit Lions. It's true. His quotes, go pack go. Though I did give you a fancy uh, like suit. So you can be like James Bond out there while you're rooting for your pack. <laughs> All right, and here is Shiz. Shiz said he wanted an afro. Shiz, I gave you this lovely outfit. You're welcome, dude. His description, he's the Shiz, of course. His quotes, your mom swallows. That's a real quote he wrote to somebody on one of the comments. And LP GTA 5, because he keeps telling me I should let's play that, which I might eventually. I don't know. It depends. I got to get the game first. It's Dr. Potato MD. You can see he's very neat and active. Dr. Potato MD is a lunatic mad scientist type that runs around in a lab coat and steals garden gnomes off of people's lawns. I hope that works out for the lab coat. I thought that was more mad scientist-y, which you asked for. 
His quote, these damn simple-minded fools tried to stop me! I must get all the gnomes! It's the only way to stop the gnome apocalypse! That's what you're gonna hear outside of your door at like 3 a.m. and you wake up, where'd my damn gnomes go? Gnome you, gnome you all. Which brings us to Eccentric in Texas. Uh, Eccentric wrote this, thanks for writing it, man. Eccentric, uh, I'm yelling your name out. No, Eccentric in Texas, fuck nuggets. That's a good family name. Think Dale Gribble from King of the Hill, but some kind of tick like arson or silent, sudden silent, violent, silent, violent, sudden violent outbursts against furniture. Fuck you, armchair, fuck you. You cushioned my ass for the last time. Get it, cushion, stab, stab, quote, I have more pressure than any of you. Have you ever tried replacing a cockroach's blood with root beer? Well, you ever tried? Whatever. <laughs> I got it close enough. <laughs> oh, you see, he wasn't very neat and stuff. And here we have Mirth13. Uh, he's neat and nice. Not very outgoing. Um, that's about the best smile I could get. Yeah, he's got a pretty sharp suit on. Mirth13. Uh, I'm like, I'm going to do a good job on this. Hey, everybody. I'm going to impress you. <laughs> Marith 13 started out as a Let's Player and was soon inspired by dreams of making his own game dev company. His quote, balls flying right at my face. Uh, I think I took that right from one of his videos, so uh, don't blame me. It finally leads us to the women of the household. We'll start with Nicole Nummy Ass. Don't, I, uh, she told me to call her that. I think she tells everybody that, otherwise it's weird. She's very nice and playful. Now I am partial to her because she did paint something for me once and sent it to me, so I think she's really nice. Maybe she's mean to everyone else. Let's see, her description is, she likes Tony Satries and getting people Dr. Peppers. She loves to get people Dr. Peppers. Makes her day. Her quote, mm, they call me nummy ass. Mm, honey baby child, you best respect this nummy ass. Mm, I know you're jelly. Anyone who knows her will say that's exactly how she talks. So, I like... If you see Fox or anyone else, they'll be like, yep, that sounds exactly like Nicole. True story. And this brings us to my good friend Foxy. She's... <laughs> Great. Uh, I cut that out. Which brings me to my good friend Foxy. She's playful. She's less than nice because she, she likes to play games. That's why she's playful. And then she likes to make people cry. <laughs> you can see I put her in a princess dress because she's the queen. And because whatever I put her in, she's probably going to yell at me about it anyway, so I figured why well, might as well make her the queen and better than everyone. Her description, Foxy loves po Portal. Her quotes are, I am better than you. And shut up, Paul. These are things that she says in real life. My good friend, Foxy. And the child of the house, uh, Megan the Gnome. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, there weren't a lot of choices for um, kid outfits. So I could be like, hey, you can look like a dweeb, which is kind of cool. Must I give you an Air Force outfit? You're playful, not very active. Uh, Megan enjoys making sim let's plays and playing the sim guitar. I like playing the guitar too. Quote, shitty camera means shitty results. And that's a fact. And I give you the fuck nuggets. Captain Pete, Shiz, Dr. Potato MD, Eccentric in Texas, Marith, Nicole Nummy Ass, Foxy, I'm better than you, and Megan a gnome. So I moved the fuck nuggets into a little house right here at the end of the way. And then um, just a few houses over, I moved the Marstons into 8 Sim Lane. I guess they're at 9 Sim Lane. That doesn't really seem to... The numbering scheme is fucked up here. I guess they were drunk when they laid it out. Which leads us to we have our neighbors now. We have the people who are going to come over and visit from time to time. It takes us to the people who are going to be the main uh, protagonists of the story. The people that we're going to live around and be around. The roommates. And we're going to call them the Games Family. I think that fits. We're gonna add a new sim. The first one will be Super Paul. Well, this is about the best I could find. I wouldn't wear those kind of shoes, but kind of like the jeans and the flannel shirt and the bald. Uh, I don't really have a Gotino mustache, but I used to have one like that. And I figure, you know, I'm uh, I'm kind of neat, I'm kind of outgoing, I'm kind of active, I'm a little playful, I'm a little nice. Starting to feel like it really should be just the slacker traits. And now I gotta think of something to write for myself. Um, Alright, and here's my description Sue pa Super Paul, Sue Paul, Super pa Paul is new in Sim City. He likes Sim Let's Playing, Sim Booze, and making out with Sim Ladies. And no, Foxy, I didn't say whores. See, they're right there. That's uh, Super Paul's setup. Let's add another person to the family. So here is Paul, Super Paul's first roommate, Bob Bobberson. He's not very neat or active, but he's very playful. And if you can see, he said he wanted to be a black man, small black man. Unfortunately, or short, I think he said. 
Or, you know, small. Uh, I can't really adjust height. You can be a kid or an adult. So you're an adult. And you're bald as you asked, and you got a badass beard. Bob's description is, Bob is SimCity's Sim General Patton. All strategy all the time. No Sim bastard ever won a war by dying for his Sim country. You win by making the other Sim bastard die for his. All strategy all the time. Rome will quake under the power of his elephants, if he ever gets any. And his quote, Vinny Vidi Vici. So uh, maybe he'll be a military guy. We'll find out, I guess. We'll add somebody else. Number three in our roommate's lineup is Snowy Panda 93 That dress is a little bright. I hope you don't mind I picked it for you. Hopefully she doesn't judge me too harshly. Oh, I got some points to give out yet. Um, okay, let's do that. She says, um, oh, what is it? Oh, she's the best at being nice and worse at being active. So you can see that. Um, her definition, oh, her description. The Sims, Sim City the movie. Snowy Panda is a Sim who likes playing simulation games. How meta. I didn't say stimulation games. Uh, her quote, her quote's a, a dialogue, actually, a generic person. What's going on here, Snowy Panda? Your mother's going on here. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, thank you, Snowy Panda. <laughs> All right, let's add another person. <laughs> Next up is our uh, our kid in the house. It's Oral, F I hope I pronounced your name right, Oral481. He's not very neat. He's outgoing and playful. Hopefully I get that all right. Oral hates puppets and dogs. That sounds weird that way. His quote, puppets ain't got no souls. Just like those damn clowns. Well, he doesn't say damn. He's a kid. So he's going to be our kid. His only job is going to be school, I think. We've got Robert Stewart. Um, if you see Robert, I gave you an awesome hat. A pimp beard. You need to grow your beard out, dude, and dye it white like that. Get that whole little rectangle beard thing going. And I give you an awesome-ass pimp suit. Um, he's very playful, not very neat or outgoing. Uh, when Robert isn't busy watching his Baltimore Ravens, he's hardworking in the political world of Sim City to make it a better place. Maybe someday he'll even rise to be Sim Mayor. And his quote is, put me in the game. The reason this quote is put me in the game is like, I don't know how many Let's Plays I do where he's like, put me in the game. He's like, next time you do a political machine game, put me in the, or video, put me in the game. He's like, uh, when I was doing the Scribblenauts LP, he's like, uh, type my name and put me in the game. And I did. I was like, okay, I'll type Robert. Sure, there's going to be a guy. And sure enough, there was a Robert in there. That was weird. So there you go, Robert. You're finally in the game. And you're looking Mac Daddy. <laughs> Robert doesn't look like that in real life. In case you run into someone that looks like that, don't be like, hey, I know you, you're Robert. But I had to make him look awesome. If he's going to run for mayor, you got to look pimp. And finally, last but not least, it's Bunny Suit Gaming. I'm just showing you this a second because this is the outfit I wanted to give her. <laughs> but I was like, no, nah, that's not fair to do to her. All right, Bunny Suit is very neat. That's Some of this is random outgoing, active, playful. She's not nice. She has zero nice points. And the reason is she said, I want to have zero nice traits so I can go around slapping people instead of greeting them. So you're like, hi, Bunny Suit. Oh, my face. She's like, that's how you like it. You're welcome. Bunny Suit enjoys video games where you're going to kill zombies. And she enjoys having people puke on her. And before you think I'm being an asshole to her, and I maybe I am, it's, it, it comes from one of her videos, one of her Let's Plays she did. It's um, the ballad of a gay tone I think she's doing where these guys are vomiting outside of a nightclub. And she gets down on her knees and she goes tr tries to get under them so they puke on her. And she's like, come on, vomit on me and stuff like that. Cracked me up. Her quote, bitch, I ain't your mom. Go make your own damn waffles. Mm, that's how Bunny Suit rolls. And now that we get the game's family all selected and set up, we're going to move them in. We're going to put them here at number one Sim Lane because they're the number one Sim family. We're going to purchase the lot there. School bus is going to arrive in an hour for Oral. And next time, we'll start setting up life for these three people. For Super Paul Games, Bob Boberson, Snowy Panda 93, Robert Stewart looking fly, Oral, and Bunny Suit Gaming. She's showing her butt to that kid. That doesn't seem appropriate. That's a weird way to start. I hope to see y'all in the next episode.